In this video, I'm going to show you how to protect your Facebook account from hackers. Okay guys, you're welcome back to the channel. I remain your boy Christian Omeja of Optic Digital Hub. And today, just like I said in this video, I'll be showing you how to protect your Facebook account from hackers. So as we all know, our Facebook account is one of the most precious things that we hold right now on the planet because a lot of people value their facebook account just like they value money and one thing that we know is that there are a lot of people out there who are looking for ways to steal or scam people off the account which they want to use to do evil and fraudulent stores and i'm going to show you how you can protect your account to avoid issues like that so but before we fully go into this video if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, now will be the right time for you to do so. Just click on the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so you get notified when I drop amazing videos just like this. The first step in protecting your account from hackers is to set up two-factor authentication on your account. So you might be wondering what is two-factor authentication? Well, two-factor authentication is a security code that will be requested from Facebook when you try to log into your account. So Facebook generated this two-factor authentication to help people protect their account. And this is how you can set up two-factor authentication on your own account. Okay, so once you are right on your Facebook, just go over to settings. You can do this both on your phone and on your laptop the same way just that the interface are different all you just need to do is go to settings area of your facebook and click on settings then you go over to the point that says security and login then if you see here we have some options right here the first one says facebook protect now ensure that this your facebook protect is turned on and if you check right here they say this advanced security program is always at work helping to defend your account so ensure that it is turned on then the next option here they say recommended you should check your important security settings you can tap here and begin to view it but i'm not going to do that right now but once you tap it they will take you through a very simple steps that will help protect your account can you see right here so what you just need to do is just to scroll down then you will see most of the devices that your facebook account is logged in if you see any device that you are not familiar with you can just remove any of those devices you can see right here if i click here not you log out you log out of that account if you don't feel safe let's say you logged in into one of your friend's phone and you don't want your account to still be logged in there you can log out through this option so right now password you understand in this way you can set up your password and you can see save your login info it will only be saved on browsers and devices you choose so this is also cool if you don't want to save it you turn it off then now this is two-factor authentication use two-factor authentication as you can see mine is turned on so now to set it up just click on edit but for you you might just see begin to set up something like that because probably you have never done it but for me i just click on edit right here and when you try to do this, they will tell you to re-log in back into your Facebook account because they are trying to be sure that you are the one trying to do this. So as for me, I'm going to log in again. So as you can see, two-factor authentication is on. As for yours, yours might be turned off. So you need to start doing the process to turn it on. Facebook Protect is enabled, makes it a lot of better. Then right here now, these are the method to set up two-factor authentication on your account. The first one is using authentication app. These are apps that will help give you codes whenever you are trying to log into your Facebook account. And we have two apps that you can use to do this on your smartphone, you understand? And even on, on your PC, you can actually do this. As you can see, the first one is called the Doe mobile you understand just search on your google play store and you're going to see this app you can use this one or you use this one that says the google authenticator app 
as for me i'm using this one i like to use this one but most people still use this one this app has secured app majorly created to secure and give you login access when you are trying to access any of your accounts it is not only for facebook you can use this app both on other various platforms youtube instagram twitter and many more so this authenticator app is amazing so now let me say this is the one i want to use so if you check out right here mine i've already set up mine as you can see add a new app that is if i'm trying to add another app i can add a new app but if i click on turn off i'm going to turn off the one that i have already done you understand so for you just tap on it they are going to give you a code that you are going to integrate with this app then you now set it up and it's very very easy just follow it download this app come here click on the authentication and request that you connect it a barcode is going to show that you can scan if you are doing it directly from your phone and your laptop but if you are doing it directly on your phone they are going to give you some piece of code that you just copy and paste inside the authenticator app and then you begin to verify it you understand so just follow it up and set it up then right here this one they say recovery codes these are codes that have been automatically generated by facebook and they give you these codes so that whenever you are trying to log in with all these other options and probably it's becoming very hard for you you can use these codes to log in anytime any day if you click on show codes as you can see mine right here i have about 10 of 10 remaining codes i've not wasted any code as you can see i had to blow this code because this is access to my own facebook account i had to blow these codes so but right here if you check this option they say download this code so it's going to download into your laptop as a file so whenever you're trying to access your account and you are stuck you can copy any of this code and use it to log into your account so that being said i'll just close this option then now we'll have add a backup method using text message and security key i prefer to use these first three the authentication app recovery codes and uh, text message for this security key i really do not use it because it's kind of much more stressful to set up so but now i'm going to show you how to set up that of the text message once you just click on setup they are going to request for the phone number you want to set up this authentication on which means when you are trying to log into your facebook account they are going to send a code to this phone number so you can access your facebook account without this phone number you cannot so that is why you see i say you should use these two options which is using the phone number and using the app so let's say you misplaced your phone number and you cannot access it anymore and you used only phone number to set up this authentication it might be very possible that you cannot log into your account anymore but once you use the app you can always download that app anytime any day log into your app and you are going to see codes that is going to help you log in into your account so if i'm trying to set this up i'm just going to put my phone number right here so as you can see right here it's very easy they say they have sent a code to my phone number all i just need to do is impute that code right here and they are going to set up a two-factor authentication for my text messaging so as you can see once it loads up they are going to ask you a question like this do you want this number to be used to help you make connections and see ads that are more relevant if you do not want that you just click on not now if you want that you just click on yes i just leave it on use number and as you can see my phone number has been updated you understand as you can see my phone number has been updated which means when i'm trying to log into my account i can either use my phone number i can use the app or i can use the recovery codes this is how to set up the two-factor authentication on your account and it's very very easy set this up and save yourself the stress of hackers trying to take away your account from you the second option on how to protect your account from hackers is to use a strong password so the case of using a strong password cannot be overemphasized when doing anything on the internet and when trying to set up a strong password ensure you are using a combination of alphabets numerics and characters some people make the mistakes of using their phone number and their emails or their names as their password and that is one of the biggest ways that their account gets hacked so ensure you change that and use something that will be hard for anyone to detect but easy for you to remember 
The third way to protect your account is to make sure your contact details are updated. You don't want to suffer the loss of losing your account and not being able to retrieve it back when that happens. So to be sure that your account details are set up properly, once you are still in that settings of your Facebook, just go to account settings right here. And as you can see, general account settings. Ensure that you have a contact added here, which can either be an email or a phone number or the both of them it's even required that you use the both of them to make everything much more easier so when you are trying to get back your password you can actually use this email or phone number to get back your password so ensure that these account details are set up properly the last way to protect your account is to make sure you are not clicking on any kind of links on Facebook. Ensure you watch out the kind of links you are clicking because some people sending out links on Facebook are scammers and all these people just want you to click your link and before you know they have taken away your account. So ensure you look properly before you click any link. Click on only verified links on Facebook. So that is it on how to protect your Facebook account from hackers. I have been using my Facebook account for a long time and I have set up all of these because I value my account a lot. It's one of my gold gems. So ensure that you do that if you really want to protect your own account as well. So that being said, if you enjoyed this video and you are yet to subscribe to the channel, now will be the right time for you to do so. Ensure you click on the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification so you get notified when I drop amazing videos just like this one. And also don't forget to like, comment and share this video so that people out there can see this video and it can also grow on the YouTube algorithm. So that being said, I will see you on the next video. Take care and have fun.